Remember the whisper quiet hum of early electric cars, a stark contrast to the guttural growl of gasoline engines that dominated the roads. But it's the future, so why not just get used to it? Well, what if there was another option, a bridge between the two, offering the familiar rumble of an engine but fueled by clean, green hydrogen? Enter Bosch, the German manufacturing giant, with the bold bet, the hydrogen combustion engine, poised to roll back onto the scene later this year. The concept of the hydrogen combustion engine may seem like a blast from the past, but Bosch is breathing new life into this technology, leveraging its expertise in automotive engineering to address the evolving needs of the transportation industry. Building on its work in the sphere, since 2016, Bosch aims to introduce hydrogen engines as a viable option for powering commercial vehicles, including trucks and construction machinery. By the way, they have tested the viability of a H2 engine in a race car, but we'll get into that a bit later. You see, Bosch envisions this technology not for slick sports cars, but for the workhorses of the industry, the burly trucks and rugged construction vehicles that currently rely on diesel, leaving a trail of emissions in their wake. While hydrogen fuel cells have emerged as a frontrunner in the clean transportation race, Bosch argues that hydrogen engines offer distinct advantages, particularly for these heavy-duty applications. Think of it this way. Fuel cells are like complex, high-tech power plants requiring very pure hydrogen and are susceptible to contamination by the dust and grime that construction sites and off-road journeys throw their way. Hydrogen engines, on the other hand, are more akin to sturdy workhorses, able to handle harsher environments with less sensitivity. As Bosch themselves say, the hydrogen engine is characterized by its high robustness. This robustness isn't just about brawn. It translates to practicality. While hydrogen engines might not match the efficiency of fuel cells, they offer advantages in cost and familiarity. They're cheaper to buy and maintain, requiring less specialized expertise. Imagine a fleet of construction vehicles, their familiar engines now humming on clean hydrogen, requiring no major overhaul in the terms of maintenance procedures. But don't think of these engines as outdated relics. Porsche isn't simply dusting off old designs. They have been diligently developing and testing this technology since 2016, culminating in a powerful 3-liter V6 hydrogen engine powering a Ligi race car that rolled onto the legendary Le Mans track in 2023. This wasn't just a publicity stunt, it was a testament to the performance potential of this technology. And this V6 isn't like the old hydrogen engines that was down on power. This twin-turbo hydrogen power plant produces 563 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque, which combined with the race car's ultralight weight meant that this race car was proper fast. Anyways, back to Bosch and what their vision is. So the future Bosch envisions, as I said, isn't limited to hydrogen-powered race cars. They see this technology powering heavy-duty trucks traversing long distances and construction machinery, clearing the way for progress. It's a future where hydrogen stations become more commonplace, offering drivers the choice between hydrogen-powered combustion engines and fuel cell vehicles, each playing a role in a cleaner transportation landscape. Of course, challenges remain. Building a robust hydrogen infrastructure is crucial, and the competition from EV and fuel cell vehicles is fierce. But Bosch's commitment to this technology is unwavering. They see it as a vital piece of the puzzle, a bridge between the familiar and the future, and a way to decommunize even the most challenging sectors of transportation without sacrificing practicality and performance. Now, some die-hard EV fans will disagree and say why not just spend all of our resources on EVs? While in construction and other commercial applications, time is money, and charging bleeds said money. That combined with the fact that these vehicles drive thousands of hours make it unviable to use batteries as batteries don't last. You see, you need an engine that can be back on the road after a quick tune-up. Then, for racing, especially endurance racing, again, charging takes up too much time. Whereas refueling takes only 5 minutes, hydrogen just makes more sense. And with all the developments from the industry giants such as Bosch, Cummins and Toyota, a future where hydrogen is the norm is coming closer and closer. So listen closely. 
the roar of the engine might be making a comeback, but this time it's a different kind of roar, a clean green roar that promises a more sustainable future for the transportation industry, one powerful revolution at a time. But at the end of the video, please let me know what you think of the video number one and what you think of this whole hydrogen push. I am pro hydrogen, but let me know what you think. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go to my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?